Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, filming in my kitchen today because it is actually boiling. I think it's like 30 degrees today, which is crazy for England temperatures. It's 24 degrees inside. So, whew, really, really hot today. Um, I went to Primark the other day for the first time since lockdown and I picked up quite a few different bits. I actually got quite a few different kind of homeware bits as well. So that's what I'm gonna run you through now is all my little kind of homeware finds. Um, if you didn't catch my last, um, my kind of like store tour one, go check it out because I obviously show a lot more kind of like homeware stuff. It's just I couldn't obviously carry everything slash afford absolutely everything. But yeah, loads of really, really cool stuff in store at the moment. Okay, I'm gonna start with a couple of the kind of smaller bits. So, obviously Primark always have so many candles. I saw this one. I thought this would be really, really cute for the kitchen. It comes in a really sweet little, is that glass? Glass kind of white pot and then it has this little cork lid on top as well. Um, burns up to 25 hours. I got the scent clean cotton with lilac and amber. I love anything clean cotton and I love anything kind of amber scented as well. It just smells really, really nice and fresh. It smells a bit like clean laundry, but in a good way. Mm, it's just really, really good. They had a couple other kind of scents of these as well. And in general, they just have so many candles, really, really affordable. And so many of them smell really, really nice as well. So definitely worth going and checking them out. So this is £2.50. Um, and it's 140 grams. So it's only a little one, but I just thought it looked really, really cute as well. So yeah, great for kind of bedroom, kitcheny, anything really. Um, yeah, and I normally get my candles from HomeSense, but I've not ventured there since lockdown yet because I've heard that the queues are really, really bad and I just didn't want to kind of face it. So I'm surprised this smells so good, especially from Primark. Next up, if you saw my um, home bargain slash B&M kind of hauls the other day, then you would have seen that I'm trying to kind of get more nice um, soap dispensers for around the house. Normally, again, I usually go and I buy um, ones from HomeSense because they have really nice packaging, but they're like five, six quid per soap dispenser. And obviously you just have to keep on rebuying them. It's just really, really wasteful. So I thought, I invest in some nicer kind of um, actual soap dispensers and then just buy a big thing of soap and just fill them up as and when I need. So I saw this one. So the other ones I got from B&M were three pounds each and they were a matte black. But I saw these. So they had these kind of marble ones and they actually had a, like a dark kind of granity stone as well, like a dark gray. Um, but these look really, really expensive. They feel really good as well. Like they don't feel flimsy or anything. Um, and yeah, you could get like a matching soap dish. They had so many and they're like, they feel, I don't know what it's made of, but it feels like actual poly resin. It's made out of poly resin, but it feels like actual stone. And each of the marble ones had like a very different kind of um, pattern. Some of them had loads of this kind of gray veining. Some of them were like nearly white. So I went for one with a subtle bit of veining and the other side's kind of like white. So if I do kind of want to change it up a little bit, I can just turn it around. But really, really impressed with the quality of these. And these are only four pounds. I'd actually say these feel better quality than the ones that I got from B&M, but they're pretty much the same price as well. So really chuffed with that. I don't know where I'm gonna put this one yet. So like I said, um, that soap dispenser, they had loads of kind of matching stuff, like toothbrush kind of pot holder things. They had little soap trays, but I also saw these underneath. They did these little circular kind of dish trays. So as you see, this is six pounds. I'm gonna take this off because it's kind of falling off anyway, but how stunning is that? It's a really nice, just kind of like flat tray with like a little bit of lip on it. And yeah, it feels really, really good quality. These were similar in the fact that they all had very different kind of like veining. Um, so you can obviously pick one up that has a bit more white or a bit more gray. Um, feels really good quality, six pounds. This would be perfect as like maybe a little candle tray to have as like a centerpiece on a table, or you could have it in the bedroom, have it as like a jewelry dish 
just literally anything. It's really, really nice. I'm honestly so surprised because I've personally never seen anything like this in Primark before. I'm really chuffed with this. I think it just looks so nice. And there's so many different things you could like use it for. Right, next up, this is really, really boring, but saw these, so I had to pick them up. We have pillow protectors on our bed, but we don't actually have any for our guest bed. So I thought I'd get these, put them on our bed and then use the old ones for upstairs. Um, so they're anti-allergy pillow protectors. I don't know if I believe that. Um, super soft microfiber cover, protects against dust mites and bacterial growth and they're machine washable. And these were only five pounds for a pair. So yeah, I thought it'd be worth it. You can machine wash them, tumble dry them. Yeah, let's get them out and see what they're actually like. They actually feel really, really nice. They feel nicer than the ones that we've got on at the moment. They're quite like thick and they're really smooth on the outside. So I'm really impressed with those. At the end of the day, they're five quid. Can't make that wrong. <sighs> Next up, I may or may not have a room transformation coming up. So I saw this and thought it would work really, really well in the room. And I've actually spot these a while back and absolutely love them. So they have a few of these kind of different, I don't know what you'd call them. They're kind of like, textured woven kind of pillows and stuff again go check out my store tour because I'll sh there's like a couple of different designs um but i went for this one just the really simple black and white one has these little like pom-pom tassels on them and just to give you a close-up of the kind of weavy pattern we've got going on there i love it i'm um, i've said this so many times before but i'm trying to add more kind of like textures and things like that into my house i feel like everything's really flat um and my kind of like style is very very simple and basic i think but anyway trying to add little touches like this just to make it a bit more homely so this is it's a 50 by 50 cushion and one thing that i think is really really good is it actually came with the insert because i saw some of these really similar on amazon that i was going to order but they were like 14 quid for the the case, but not the pillow inside. And the same as when you go to Ikea, you can spend like five, 10 quid on the actual case, the cushion cover, but not actually get the insert for the cushion. So this was 10 pounds for the cushion cover and the cushion. So I think that's bargain. The quality feels really, really good actually. Like obviously the back is quite plain, but it kind of feels like a thin linen-y kind of style. Yeah, I'm really impressed with this. Like I said, I've seen their cushions in there quite a few times, but I've never actually bought one because I've never had like a room in mind to buy them for, but this is gonna 100% tie in the room I'm gonna be designing soon anyway. So really, really happy with that. And then last but not least, I saw, I saw they had loads of um, more kind of furniture bits, which I hadn't really noticed before. They had loads of like little side tables, a lot of kind of mirrors, things like that. I saw actually they had, I'll put in a photo of what I'm talking about. They had this rattan, um, kind of like, it looks like a sun, I guess, like mirror. And I think it was only like 15 pounds and I loved it. Thought it would look really, really good, but it was slightly broken. Um, and I, to be honest, I was already struggling to carry all of this stuff anyway. So yeah, I didn't get it, but I was tempted. But instead I saw this. I have no idea what this actually looks like because they didn't have one on display, so I've taken a risk with this. So, Kane is very, very in right now, but it seems to be very expensive and marked up in price, probably because it's just fashionable at the moment. But I saw this little side table, thought this could either be really, really cute or really, really hideous, but let's just open it up and take a look. It does say the dimensions on the back, so it's 40 centimetres wide by 41 centimetres tall. So it's not meant to be a huge side table. Okay. That's quite nice. I'm actually really surprised. I mean, because I know it's cheap, you can tell, like, basically, the underneath the cane is just MDS, it's really cheap wood. 
um, and even on the sides you can see that is MDF as well but I think if I were to walk into a room I wouldn't it's the kind of stuff that you pick up because you know and then these are the legs so I've seen there's like a couple of marks on it which aren't like knots in the wood or anything it looks quite stained I'm gonna I mean it looks extremely simple to kind of assemble so I'm just gonna do it really quickly now so quality wise I mean it's not amazing it's like a very very cheap side table and you can see these little brackets on the bottom are like hot glued on just stuff like that is you can tell it's very very cheap but I think that once it's put together it'll actually look all right and obviously because this was so cheap you could easily kind of DIY this I personally really really love cane mixed with like black so obviously if you just think the legs looked really cheap you could just paint them out you could paint obviously this kind of side bit as well and to be honest that probably go with my house a little bit better anyway so there we have it so it's a little three leg side table i'm actually quite impressed with that you know for primark don't get me wrong it's not great quality but i was expecting it to be a lot worse than that and it's mm, it's pretty sturdy I mean not massively but the only thing is it's very very small let me put it down and show you properly okay so there we have it it is very cute I love this kind of it's like a modern mid-century mid kind of design with the tapered leg it's very cute and it's very cheap let me tell you how, how much it was now Okay, so this was £15. So, it's, it's a bit of a difficult one. For that price, like, it is worth it. Because that is dirt cheap. But I will just say that it is very small. Um, obviously, it's only 41 centimetres tall, which isn't very tall. Like, I guess, like, a normal side table would probably be, like, I don't know, at least, like, 60 maybe. I'm trying to compare it to my IKEA one. It's very, very small and dainty. Um, I personally think it would look better with four legs rather than three. Um, but at the end of the day, for £15, I don't think you can complain that much. You're not going to get anything kind of cane style for that kind of price. So I'm mixed emotions about it. It is very, very cute. But now it's up, I'm not sure where it would fit in just because it's quite small. Um, where I could put it so I'm not 100% convinced on that but it would look really really cool painted out black as well actually and just leaving the cane in the middle but yeah that is everything I got not a lot um, I did want to pick up more so that is everything I got I didn't get a lot because honestly because I got clothing stuff as well I was really struggling to carry it and I was by myself. I did say this in my Primark um, store tour kind of video that um, the whole experience wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I had to queue just over 10 minutes to get in, but once you get in there, um, the staff have managed it really, really well given the current situation. And yeah, I didn't feel like worried in there and like that I couldn't get out of people's way or anything like that. And once you queue at the checkout, the obviously the queue is normally really, really long at the checkouts, but it was a lot shorter because they're kind of managing how many people are in the store at one time. So it was really well managed um, and actually a lot better than I thought the kind of shopping experience would be. I just wish that Steve came with me so he could have helped me carry loads of stuff, but he was working so he couldn't come with me. Um, but yeah, definitely go check them out. There's a lot of really really cool stuff in there as well there was loads of bedding bits that i loved as well there was one bit of bedding um i'll see if i can find a photo and put it in it was like this kind of textured white kind of textured bedding um but for a king set it was 30 pounds which i thought was quite expensive for primark so i didn't get it um but i don't know let me know what you guys think because i thought it would look really really cute and especially with this kind of cushion more like raw textured cushion design as well so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have 
please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you never miss an upcoming video um yeah and upcoming room transformation um i hope you guys are excited because i know that you guys loved the last ones that i did as well so i'm really excited to get started on that and that should be going live at like the end of july i think so quite a way away but i'm getting excited i'm getting ready for it rocky rude uh yeah anyway i will see you guys next time